fish vendors in Tanje buy f from fishermen in boats landing on the shores of Tanje, some 38 kilometers from the Gambian capital buying jewel with the hope of reselling to earn profits. But the main problem is people are not buying as they used to. And this has resulted in shrinking earnings for the women who are involved in this business of buying and selling fish. Fatma Takasim tells us more of that. In Tanji is one of the biggest fish landing sites in the Gambia, and hundreds of people, from fishermen to fish vendors, are dependent on the daily activities happening more than 30 kilometers south of the Gambian capital, Banjul. But a good number of these fish vendors are women who buy the fish from the boats and sold at a retail prices. Now they are worried that sales have significantly dropped and their livelihood is threatened. Fatu Bayo, a fish vendor, told iAfrica TV that sales are no longer what they used to be. Coupled with lack of sales is the problem of raising money to invest in the fish selling business. Like Fatu, her fellow women have seen shrinking earnings that are compelled to borrow money and invest in their fish businesses and are expected to repay an extra $100 seed for every $1,000 seed borrowed. At the end, she can't make enough profit due to the poor sales. Before, when you have your own money, you buy fish directly from the fishermen. But due to financial constraints, in the case you don't have money, you will have to go to people to give you money to buy fish, in which you will have to pay in interest. For example, if I borrow 5000 to buy fish, I will have to pay an interest of 500 The person that lent me the money, so I will have to struggle to pay the interest and also try to get something from it. These are some of the problems out of many. For vendors like Ajibasim Lo, who is involved in the dry fish business, there is no market for them in Tanji. Instead, they had to travel 156 kilometers or more all the way to Farafenya to sell their dry fish. With three fishes sold at $10, Lowe Lo said they barely make profits from their investments. After peeling the scales, then we put salt in it then put it under the sun for two days, and then it will be ready to sell. Every Saturday, the car will come and pick us to go to Farafemi, where we will sell it for three fish for ten because we work here, but we don't have who to sell it to. The only solution is to take it to Farafemi, and that makes it difficult. Other fish vendors face a different problem, the high cost of transportation. According to their Antenjai, she barely makes profit after paying to transport her stock to wherever she wants to sell from. Fish is costly and when you buy it, it is also difficult to transport it to your destination. As a vendor, it is always difficult to make profit out of it because all the profit you made will be used for transportation. While vendors in Tanja also said they need help for a good fish market and increased in sales, some other vendors attribute the lack of sales and the little or no profit gain to the coronavirus pandemic, which has largely affected people's earning and spending powers. For iAfrica TV, I am Fatou Matakasim.